Yeah, I know, but like, do you think they need that quick of a cash grab? I think it's business and they just made money, that's it. That's but that quick of a cash grab, instead of you literally just putting out fucking Nelk.com, put one dollar in and you, if you, you might get selected to hang out with Steve will do it. You, why do, why would yeah. they go through the whole process of like sponsorships, dude? That's true. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another mm-hmm. episode of JNL Podcast. Two times in a row, real quick. Two times, headed for the three times. Back of the bus. Bozo. Um, you look Dumbo right now. Stupid! <laughs> I wonder what Michael's hearing right now. Uh, Stupid! We're on. Um, we're just going back to back right now. We're going back to our old ways, real quick. Lucas is taking a nice trip to Colombia. Do you want to speak a little bit about you going to Colombia? Are you like like kind of scared, kind of like culture shocked? Like, you, do you know what to expect? Like, are you like freaked out a little? Like, do you get anxious? Were you anxious when you went to Punta Cana? Like, no, nah, I wasn't anxious, honestly. Yeah. I think I thought about it more now because I'm actually going to be, be in, in the, the city, city. Yeah, I'm not going to be at a, a fucking resort. Yeah, yeah. paradise. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I thought about it and like. You both be like, ga- like not gassing it, but y'all be saying a lot, and I'm like, damn, like I'm actually a white guy. But it's the truth, though. Yeah. Like, I'm a white guy entering a whole different country. Yeah. The only thing, I do look like Puerto Rican. That's the only thing, in yeah. some ways. Some people think it, some people don't. <laughs> look at my fucking hair when it goes down when I have a cut. I definitely look Puerto Rican sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, like, no, nah, I definitely thought about it, and like I, like, I get nervous sometimes, and I'm just like, damn, like, Julie told me like I shouldn't be talking like out loud in public and shit like that like yeah. and you guys said the same thing I'm like damn like what the fuck am I because <laughs> bro it's just like you could be I like I can't even wear this little you can't probably say, fake pendant over here fake chain you cannot you cannot it's just like the thing about it is like where you could be at a bakery down the block at your crib there's like there's like a couple people standing there they hear you and Julie randomly talk English like and they just, they just, and they definitely see your dumb ass. Like, you, that motherfucker's white. But let's look, like, right, when you walk into the place, they're like, all right, let's let him slide. He, he definitely he might be Colombian. He might be Colombian. Yeah. There's some white yeah. Colombians. No, for sure. There's very pale Colombians. Yeah. yeah. Colombians are probably one of the palest. Yeah, a lot of them. That I've seen, yeah. yeah. But then as soon as that English comes out, it's like. On my like, dick. Let's, like, people are fucking ruthless over there, bro. That's the thing. Like, yeah. let's follow them. Let's do this and yeah. that. Yeah. It's like, bro, I have nothing that you guys want, honestly. You know? um, now, I definitely thought about it. I definitely think it got to me. So not got to me, but I, I put you it just in gotta my You just got to think about it. You know? Yeah, I got to put it in my head because, no. bro, I'm born here in you in Florida, Orlando. <laughs> I'm about to go to Colombia. I'm about to go to Medellin and Pereira. Like, yeah. what? Whole different culture, whole different shock. So yeah. I understand not, but I like I told Julie, just I'm literally going to be following the leader the whole time because I'm not fucking myself. Yeah, and when I go back home, like that's gonna be the worst part because I'm going to the airport by myself. I know. They said that. Well, yeah. Who's gonna walk with? Like, who's gonna? I have to go through security by myself. I have to do this by myself. Oh, that. But you're not getting dropped off. Oh, no, no, I, I hope no, not. No, yeah. No, no. But I'm saying even that's scary because like who knows? Someone could fuck me up. Like over, not fuck me. Like up. It's really hard though. Like those type of places. Like. That's those, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, really yeah. hard. I feel you. Columbia is very unsafe, but it's really hard to do shit in like a very public area. But yeah, no, I it's think definitely I'm, still possible. Though. I think I'll be okay. We just gotta go through a couple some. Gotta go through a couple tourist spots to get the feel. Yeah, because yeah. her dad says that there's a, she he knows some um, he knows some people that be going, and there's always like white like tourists just talking mad loud. They don't give a fuck. They, they just don't give a f- where I went to my, uh, to like a tourist area when I was in Colombia called Salento. Um, mad Americans walking down. But it's way, but the thing about that city is the, it's not Pereira. You go to that city, they know it's tourists in that bitch. Yeah. So that's the thing. They can't like, they can't be like, oh, this person doesn't belong here. But they do because it's a tourist yeah, scenery. That's, that's what it's yeah. yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Be careful. I mean, I know some Spanish. I can understand a little bit, so it's like I get my way around. I just gotta literally put. Oh, I together. just I just found out something too. So give me your hand, like dab me up, real quick. So if someone ever does that to you, run away. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm gonna kill you? No, that means they wanna fuck you. They wanna fucking like, I don't know. Yeah. How did you learn that? You did it. I did it because I fucking play, play around with my grandma. Like I da- like I just did her hand and I and I did that. She's like, don't ever fucking do that to me. And really? then like, yeah. And then my mom was there. I was like, what the fuck does that mean? And she's like, oh, that means that you wanna, yeah. So you wanna fuck your grandma? <laughs> yeah. 
That's funny. Yeah, nah. If I ever do that, I'm actually running. <laughs> That's scary. Honestly. Probably um, won't think about it in the moment, but it's okay. I definitely, definitely, definitely don't want the thing that happened to you, to me happened to you, which was the car situation when I got pulled over my cousin. Yeah, nah. That's definitely a scary situation because my cousin's really known in Pereira, so that's the thing that backed it up. But yeah. if, it, if it was most likely, like, a taxi driver that got pulled over now, and it was just me and my mom, and, like, we would have, who knows what the cops would have tried to do, so. Yeah. So, yeah, but... I think it'll be good. At least, at least you're going with her parents, so they're both from there. And her brother's gonna be there too. He's six two. He stands out. His brother's gone. Yeah, her brother's gone. Oh. Bro, he's he's gonna stand out for sure, no matter what. Yeah, but he still looks Colombian. This he looks this Colombian, too. but he there's there's tall Colombian. Oh no, yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, it's not really, as common as yeah. you think here. Here, bro, everyone like the average height is probably like six two by now. I don't think so. The average height is five nine, so we're average basically, above mm-hmm. average by a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like over there, it's definitely like fucking five four, five five. He's going by himself. Or he's going with his girlfriend too. I don't know what the fuck he just said to me. He's going by himself, or he's going with his girlfriend uh, too. I think he's girl. Nah, yeah, no way. He's going by himself. So you guys all staying together, like in the same place? Yeah, in grandma's crib. We're gonna go to Medellin. We're gonna fly over there. And yeah, can I use my phone on? Can I use my phone on the airplane? Yeah, for sure. Even I mean, to Medellin? As soon as you're at the airport, airport, you're good to do whatever you want. Mm, fucking cops everywhere. But, like, bro, if you bring your phone on the... Let's say you in the, you get in a taxi, which I don't know. You most likely are. I don't know if Julie's parents have cars over there or not. Um, if you, Let's say you had your phone on you. You could not pull out your phone in the car. Because there's so many bikes around you that a motherfucker just... Zoom. They gonna break out the window, too, or not? Bro, that shit happens all the time. Happens all the time. This happened to my to my dad's friends. They're just driving. They see they because they'll, you're gonna see in Colombia they have way more tinted cars than like here. Yeah. Like the, they're all tinted. Niggas pull up with two bikes on the side, guns. They know that you have money, whatever. Make you roll down your windows, take out everything, keep on going. Quick scenery, nigga. Quick. It's quick. But once again, bro, I come. From, my parents are from Cali. I stay in Cali. Cali's way more dangerous. When I was in Pereira, bro, Pereira is really calm compared to Cali. Yeah. But Medellin, I've never been there, so who knows? But you're only gonna be there. It's for the for capital, you. right? Yeah. No, Bogota. Bogota. Well, they said Medellin's beautiful. Medellin's the the famous, most famous. Of course, city. yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who, who made it famous? <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm excited, nervous, culture shock. It's gonna be out my comfort zone for sure. You're definitely gonna be like, holy fuck, like this is a different world. Yeah, because I mean, I could have visited that in DR, but I was at a resort, mm-hmm. so I could have seen it already. I just mm-hmm. haven't seen it. I've seen it on a, on a, in an Uber basically. Yeah. Seen what kids are doing, playing outside and this. No, but you're about to see it firsthand too, especially staying at her grandma's, because that shit's like a, it's a, regular, uh, it's a hood, so it's like, not a hood like that, but I mean, it's just it's a crib, yeah. It's a crib, you're so in the like, city. Yeah. You're not at a resort, you're not at a hotel. Uh, yeah, so. I think I mean I find that pretty cool. It's just another like, like it makes me appreciate things a lot more, you know. Yeah, definitely should be to see it. You'll be able to see it, bro. I'm excited for the food. I like, that's the one thing I can't stop thinking about. What I'm about to eat there. Like, I'm hungry. Like I, I'm gonna eat like 24/7. Good. That's good. One of the best that's foods in the world. You know what I've been thinking a lot lately? I've been watching Nugs videos. Like, throw, you saw Steve do his fucking YouTube uh, taken down? Yeah. From I what? Don't, I, I, I didn't I, finish his last video. Six so. nine this video probably. I watched it though. What Maybe. happened at the end? I didn't watch it. He was just giving away money. He was in Ecuador. That's all I remember. He went to a strip club in the video, but like he didn't show anything crazy. I don't know why. That's so stupid. YouTube is dumb for doing that. You know how many people like love Steve do it. I think he's gonna get it back, but it's gonna be very, very, very hard. I think he's gonna get somebody, bro. Because look what he does for you. Like, what's what's violent, bro? He gives out hundreds of thousands every video. What more do you want? He promotes your YouTube, literally. Like, he gets people yeah. to come on YouTube to watch him only. You're gonna lose a lot of those people to watch. It's also the joke shit. Yeah. Come here, bitch. Come or like, here. all right, come here, Jeffrey Epstein, <laughs> Epstein, or like yeah. some shit. Or like Donald Trump, not Donald Trump. Um, what's his name? If you're talking about Bradley Martin, oh some shit. But yeah, no, I thought it was disappointing. Very disappointing. Um, hopefully he gets it back, but I mean, I think he's going to be on a very thin line. The day I should delete this one is going to be like, It's whoa. deleted right now. It's removed. I, I know it's removed, but he still could get it back, though. That's you think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, YouTube gives you a couple, like, chances for sure. 
Who knows? We don't know because we will never be in that scene. It's not though. He I already know they're gonna make a payment subscription. He already has thing. that though. He posted all his Steve will do it videos uncensored on no spade. I don't I I'm not paying for that ever. The thing is though, I don't think he wants that. I think he's gonna have to make a separate website and just have them there for free. Yeah. <laughs> Cause he knows he gets a lot of people watching it for free. Yeah. That's what the rest of his views get from. No and one wants to pay for it to watch he, videos. Because he does unset, but he does the un like sense like he does the crazy shit on yeah. the Nelk one. Yeah. And then you seen the one with Selena? How you fake repost there? Yeah. I felt so bad. <laughs> I felt like so bad. Like those are the type of moments that I just want to skip because I don't want to like see what's going to happen. I felt so bad for her. He fucked up the prank though. The yeah. first one. I want to see the first one. Yeah. The no. Yeah. The she first. didn't really give a fuck. She knew it was a lie. She walked away though. You saw. You saw you yeah, but she said she knew like it wouldn't oh, make yeah. sense. But the proposing, but she started tearing up, and I was like, "Bruh, like she's about to hate him for a year or more." Uh, yeah. That's pretty funny. It was funny, but yeah. I imagine being the girl, bro. I feel like it's just you know, you get so sentimental, and you're like, "You think you're able to pull that off? You think you have the guts to pull that off?" Nah, I'll never do that. Nah, mm. unless I get paid a bag for it. That's it. <laughs> I'll never do that. Nah, nah, oh I'm too God. like. Knowing Julie should kill me. That's basically what it is. Like, I'll probably die that night. But Breaking like, news, Lucas gets head chopped off. <laughs> Which head? Fucking talk, you weirdo. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but like, what happens if you, she knew you were in that position? Like, even, like, if you were Steve will do his shoes, would you do it or not? Like, if you were Steve will do it, would you do it? I don't know how he feels about that or if you're just saying I have money and like shit. Well, he just he's, he has money and he's crazy as fuck like that. That's nah, like, I can't. Mm -hmm. It's just me. I can't yeah. do that. Nah. But everyone's just commenting like, "Yo, just propose to her already." Like she holds it down. I thought they were split up for a minute and they then they were. came back together. Really? They're high school sweethearts, bro. Like, I think I think that that, that she just brings him peace because that motherfucker's crazy. Yeah, he's no, he definitely is. <laughs> That's She's the, the one that calms it down. Yeah. You you like you see, she does not want to be in the videos. She don't ever want it to be in the videos. You can yeah. see that. Like, every time the camera's on it, she's just looking away. She's just doing her own thing. You know what I fucking, um... Fuck, bro. Who was it? That's what makes the money, baby. That's what brings the audience in. Who was it? It was a fucking episode. That someone said that, like... Someone... Fuck, it was someone famous, bro. Oh, Sh Sugar Sean. That they were, they were... They were hanging out in Vegas after he... After, he got, after his fight, and that Steve let... Sh Sugar Sean grabs Selena's tits because they're real. <laughs> and then, because they were talking about, like, oh, like, Selena has some racks on her. Like, like wh why do girls get their bodies done if their body's so perfect and shit and stuff? And then it was just so funny because they were talking about, like, all oh, that. They let, let, she, she let, Steve made, made Sean, Sugar Sean do it, but, like, what happens if Selena made Steve do something, you know? Yeah. It's like, who knows? Yeah. Kind of explained it kind of weird, so it kind of threw my brain out. But I understand what you mean now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, what I was gonna th bring back up about the Nug Boys. I also forgot. I'm just gonna clear this out the way, bro. I want to go to Europe already after seeing the one with Andrew Tate and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Andrew Tate looked like a dickhead, honestly. Like, in person, he looked like he's just a bully. He just, oh, he, you watched the video? Watch the video. He looked oh, like he just I, bullied the fuck it, out yeah. of them. Like, there was moments where he sprayed the champagne and shit like that. That little look, he looked unnecessary. They look, all look tight as fuck. They just can't do anything. Sure. He's 6'3 and big buff. <laughs> but nah, like seeing that, like Croatia and stuff like that, and that's seeing their cool. wine tours in Italy and yeah. stuff, I just want to visit Europe, bro. Like, that's like, I imagine how beautiful it is there. What's it called? Um, my cousin's family says they're, like they're really grateful, like how we've been taking care of Michael and stuff. They're like, send Juan back with Michael to Italy. For real? Yeah. You gonna go? I don't know how much that shit costs. That's true. Uh, Tell them it's free. And if I'm going to Italy, bro, you know how long I have to be over there for? Well, actually, it's except, a month. Yeah, to actually fucking see shit. That's the month of my birthday. I'm not gonna even be here for my birthday if I go. It's Europe, yeah. yeah. Europe, you have to stay a month. Like I know when I go to check, I'm gonna be gone for a month for sure. It's not even that. Like Colombia, you might like I say a month. Any country yeah. you go to, but you come to the U.S., you have to be here for three months to explore everything. If you're actually gonna come here, unless you're gonna come here strictly for like Disney, like Orlando, for yeah. that. Yeah, but then yeah, it's different. Yeah. Yeah, it's but different. like if you're coming here to explore the U.S., yeah. You have to be here for You need even longer, I feel you like. You have to go to California. You have to go to New York. You have to definitely come here. You have to go to Florida. 
Texas, you have to like you have to go to. Uh, no, no, I, not Texas. Not a lot of you Las know. Vegas. Everybody's Vegas, gonna want to go there. Yeah. Nevada. Those four. Vegas, Cali, New York, Florida, Washington, bro, DC. You have everyone. I don't think Oregon. you're. I don't think true, I don't, true. But no, I think tourists, people will just go just to see the fucking monuments and say you've been there. Just probably. Say. Bro, it was crazy when I was there. Actually, uh, they had the gates pushed back mad far, and like where DC I'm went to the been. to the White House, or whatever. And so it's pushed back. There's like a street, and it's beyond it. And when I remember when I went years ago, like it was just on the street, and then they opened it. Like five minutes later, when everybody was leaving, mm. and we all got to the fence of the White House, like we grabbed the fence, you know, like mm. it was weird. Uh, I kind of felt scared because I was like, "Why are they opening it?" Like I feel like something's about to happen, you know? Just a triggering mindset, I guess. But yeah, it was pretty cool. We got like we could see the White House. That's pretty cool. So you're not able to really see it wherever the fuck. You can see it. No, you can mm. still see it, but like really far. You can take a photo now without the fence there. You can put your phone between the fence, and you can just see the White House instead. Like, I have a picture, but oh really? Yeah, I have pictures. I'm gonna show you. Yeah. Insert it right here. Okay. Click. Fuck, it. fuck you. I'm not doing that, bitch. Give the people what they what they want to experience. Fuck the people. When did it, when did I go? I can't find it. Panicking. Nervous. Nerve wracking. So there's the fence right here. Uh huh. Okay. That's the why. That's the So we were like past right here. So you're not even able to pass that street. So that's what I'm saying. Hold on. So you're not allowed to be on that fence? Like originally? No, yeah, they have gates at all times. Cuz oh, there so were they protests, there were protests going on at that time because of the I think the abortion shit, uh, the abortion shit going on. Like they were like passing there just protests. Oh, so there's like gates before you get to that gate? Yeah, just regular gates. Like fence like those little that disposable so that, that set up lines. You know it's weird though. That's how close Pablo Escobar got his picture. Yeah, but that was back then when they never had anything like that. Oh. So you can still do it, like, but this should just happen like five minutes later. Cause we, bro, we got there like at 8 p.m. and we were like, oh, this is kind of sketchy. Cause DC is fucking ugly now that I look at it. Wherever we drove through, everything was like. I heard DC is really like it's really bad. Like it's a really good place. Yeah, it is, and I don't remember it being like that when I was younger. But mm. I drove through. I'm like, bro, this shit is like looks sketchy as fuck. Nah. Besides going to you know these little places. We're about to be there, so. Yeah, nah. But. Isn't it crazy that the No Boys? What was that? What was their thing that they put money into that everyone says like, the if me, you the metal car? No, not the metal car. Oh, uh, the thing that like they gave the Ferrari away for. That brand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, isn't it crazy? Like, how how the fuck does it just disappear after like a month of promotion? I mean, they're going really hard with steak right now. Weapons. I was just thinking that that definitely was their business. But well, what money did they make off of that, though? Like you know the, how many people pay, pay yeah, to, I know. to have a fan day with Steve will do it? Yeah, I know. But, like, you think they need that quick of a cash grab? I think it's business, and they just made money. That's it. So but that make, quick of a cash grab, instead of you literally just putting out fucking Nelk.com, put $1 in, and you, if you, you might get selected to hang out with Steve will do it. You, why, do, why would yeah. they go through the whole process of, like, sponsorships? This? That's true. I don't know that. Yeah, that's they just—they probably don't because right now they're pushing hardest fucker steak. So I, I feel like they're just not working. On it. I don't know, that's true. Maybe, possibly, maybe. Oh my God! Talk. Since we're on Nelk, fucking Bob Menry and Nelk, something's going on sketchy, baby. Oh, I saw they're talking. Someone said something in the video. Nelk's video? Oh yeah. Dana was like, "Where are you at, Bob?" <laughs> in the video. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. And Kyle was just laughing and shit. I don't he think. Gifted him two fifty quarter mil. He had, a, so he had a lot of problems with that because not even pay, pay, play, fighters don't even get paid nowhere near that. I saw. And they were saying... Bro, hey, you know the reason why, right? Nelk brings so much to use to... I only know Sugar Sean because of Nelk. That's the only reason. <laughs> bro, Steve will do it is the reason why I know him. <laughs> yeah. And all I, these fighters that they be betting on is because of Steve will do it. Now pay, that I, pay Steve will do it a million now for that. Now that I fucking actually like watch Nelk and watch you... I, I'm entertained with the like, you see. Yeah, when yeah. they're fighting and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. entertained because I want to fucking see a, a motherfucker get knocked the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, so why would he not like gift him? Because you know how many views they bring him just because of that? But they put their name out every time. Every time there's an event, they're going to Vegas. Yeah. No matter what. And they also collab with him, too. So. Yeah. So, nah. And anyway, it just seems like a nice guy. So, we're... Nelk's position... Nelk did a collab with um, Caitlyn Jenner. Do you think that who's, who, who's benefiting off of that? Nelk or, or Caitlyn? 
Who's benefiting? Yeah, like who, who like, you know how like, so like, let's say we collab, Jaina collab. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's just, I don't think, I think I guess it helps now more, obviously. Are they doing it because of the guest name or are they just doing it to help out the guest because the, the guest is in need of help to get Okay, I don't, I don't think Caitlyn needs help, nah. Okay, what about someone like the, the baby? They did a collab with the baby after all the situations that he just had. Oh, maybe, but I don't think Kaylin. No, what the fuck? I think Kaylin is just there. Okay, what about? Do you think the baby maybe? Oh, they made a they made merchandise with them. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I was just thinking that because I was like, when they're in the podcast, like, the baby's not stupid. He's going through so much problems right now. You fucking collab with the number one podcast in the world right now. Those kids are gonna get you fucking back into the fucking top. That's true. Maybe, but yeah, no, I was just saying for Kayla, nah, no way. I think it benefits Nelk, though, not her. Because I feel like it just brings that um, yeah. type of uh, audience yeah. to Nelk and, like, really listen to them. But whether they like it or not, I just feel like that type of audience doesn't like it, you know? Mm, yeah. The older audience. How do you feel about the situation with Bob? Bob Menry? I don't know. He just seemed, he seems like a very cocky guy, the way he carries really? himself. I do like him though. I have nothing against him. I just feel like he's very entertaining. You don't know, think it's that boxing, Boston way of him being very hustle type mentality? Probably that's what it is. Probably. I also just don't like how like I've seen just too many like I haven't watched full videos, but just clips of him just trying to cut off everybody. That shit just like I don't know like you're trying to have somebody talk and like you're just gonna keep cutting it off. It's one thing I probably dislike, but nah, he just seems like a nice guy. I don't know. But you think that's people's fault though? Like, if we have a guest line and we're cutting him off, like, you think that's our fault? Okay, I'm not about to be saying, like, little shit. Like, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to keep cutting off and saying, like, dumb shit. Like, little, tiny shit. Mm -hmm. Like, not saying Bob has said anything. I don't remember. But, like, yeah. on the Andrew Tate's podcast, Steiny and them were saying dumb shit, like, back yeah. and forth with him. He's like, bro, come on. You probably, probably let your girl drive the car once. Mm -hmm. And he's like, no. And he's like, bro, at least one time. Like, no, like, shut the fuck up. Let him talk. Like, mm -hmm. let him finish. Mm -hmm. Maybe, obviously, they were trying to, like, you know, get into... I think they were trying to get into that funny side of it, though. Yeah, but you, you're just trying too hard at that point, because you, you can tell he didn't like it. You know what I mean? That you yeah. can fucking tell. And then he was like, like, boys, like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, explained. But maybe they were just trying to get him to that point where he can explain it, because it, it caused him to explain all that extra shit. So, yeah. That's a little shit. But that's the shit I don't like. Like, when you're just, like, talking like a little kid. Yeah. Like, you're giving me this whole explanation I'm like about girls or whatever. I'm like... You let your girl to drive, and you're like, no. And I'm like, bro, at least one. And then, like, you're just going to keep bouncing back off this little foolish shit. Do you think it's just the personality Angel Tate gives? Because, like, me, at least, I don't think that's funny that you're doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would think that's f fucking hilarious. I think you it depends on the person. I don't really like that, though. I think it depends on the person. Because, like, when you see he's actually trying to explain, like, mm -hmm. and you're going to, like, keep on cutting talk some little boy shit, yeah. like, yeah. Nah, I don't think it's I can definitely tell that in that podcast, though, Steiny was, like, the little boy of it, because yeah. Kyle was trying to keep it the most mature he was, but, like, it was just so funny, because Kyle would laugh because he's getting roasted, and Salim would ask, like, the most logistic questions, and he would just stay quiet. Like, Salim knows when to talk, that's the thing. Yeah. Did you, you didn't see the video at all? Of Nelk's new video? Yeah. No, no. Bruh, someone in the, when they landed in Croatia, someone called uh, Steiny uh, one of the seven dwarfs. <laughs> no way. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. That was, that was probably the funniest thing. Andrew Tate took his girl, but then I saw Steiny said that it was fake on because it was edited. Yeah, I know. Like yeah. You know Kyle's cuff right now? Oh, with the girl? Yeah, yeah, he brought her on the trip. I know. Yeah, he was like, I got hung over and he just invited his bitch over. <laughs> As in bitch, I don't mean like like ugly bitch. I mean like it's his girl. So I just gotta clarify. Yo, Andrew Tate be saying some crazy shit, but it's really logistic, bro. I, I people are gonna hate on it, but that motherfucker be saying some. I like how he, no, I definitely do like some of the things he says. He's just very like sexist, but like. Okay, I don't think he's sexist though, bro. Like I don't. You know what sexist means though, actually. What does it mean? You don't think he like prefers that men are like. That men should be doing like are better than women, basically. Not better than women, but like doing things better than women, or. I don't think the, you understand what off, sexist means, so that's off, why you don't know. Off of the situations that he's giving, that I've seen him talk about. He's even said he's sexist. He said he, he said it so many times on the podcast, he's not sexist. He said it so many times. Bro, he literally yeah. said it. No, on the podcast, he kept on saying, anybody can call me racist, anybody can call me sexist, even though I'm not in none of these things. Because he was like, oh, like, everybody thinks I'm sexist, but then when I give the, the, point, the point to the girls instead of the guys, they never call me 
I don't know if there's another word for that, but like. Yeah, I know what you mean, but I feel like I've never heard that point. <laughs> He's. I've heard it once about uh, women having a baby. Like you should. Like women should have kids. Yeah. That's probably one of the best things I heard about women. But I have no problem with them. Mm-hmm. But like Julie was like telling me like you were like it's just another stupid motherfucker like blowing up, and I was like. I understand why, yeah, he's, like, blowing up, but, like, I find him interesting on the shit he says about business and life and actual, like... Did you, did you see the clip of, like, get a group, get your group of friends, serve a cup of, of fucking sparkly water, and the guy who's, who fucking, they, you set all your, you meet up with all your boys in a meeting, you fucking pour glasses of a cup, glass of sparkly water in a cup, you all drink at the same time, and the motherfucker who says, ooh, bubbles, kill that motherfucker. Get rid of that motherfucker. Right Definitely away. me, then. I'm getting killed. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, the entertainer just seems like a really cool dude, though. But like, I I can see why everyone says sexist though, because like the way he like gives himself makes it seem sexist. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if he's like really trying to not give that, but like you know what I mean. Like I listen to him full in depth in the podcast. No, no. You haven't seen clips of him anytime. I definitely have seen uh. him do shit like that. I, I saw him on the Portnoy podcast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think yeah. it's just when he's in that mode and he's explaining, because mm-hmm. he'd be talking about like his bitches, like they're nothing. Like this bitch not driving the car. This bitch not doing none of that. You know what I mean? Do you think it's sexist how he says that? Since you're mine, if you made an OnlyFans, I deserve eighty percent of it, and you get like ten. Is that sexist to you? I don't think that sh- should be considered sexist, no. I feel like a l- all the fucking females in the world think that's sexist because he said, you're mine. Oh, man. No, no, if you're giving your body and, like, I'm the only one that's supposed to see it, yeah, you have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> or, like, you gotta take care of us at that point. Like, you're gonna show your... Yeah. You don't agree? No, I do agree. I just, it's just funny how you said it because I... <laughs> Like no way Julie's gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna do OnlyFans, but like I'm gonna keep everything and I'm gonna still work at SeaWorld. Like no, that's not how it works. She's making six figures. <laughs> yeah, like no, like I think even if it was vice versa, let's say I'm the guy showing off my dick or whatever, mm-hmm. and I'm not gonna like take care of my girl, like that's it. bro, you're so gay. Like actually, <laughs> yo, walks. what's up with you in that word? Bro? <laughs> yo, yo, what's like, good with you in that word? You made me bro. uncomfortable, bro. <laughs> nah, yo. but nah, like say if the same thing, like. Reverse, reverse stuff. Vice reverse versa. Roles. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, nah, yeah. I think, like, it's so... I think I think it's just because it's disrespectful. If you're going to do that, you're going to have to repay some type of... Something. Yeah. If you're, like, I don't think I would ever date a bitch that has OnlyFans. No, date a girl. Sorry, bitch. Girl. Same shit. I don't think I could. I think it's... I wouldn't want everyone seeing what I, like, ha- you know, have... What about the... What happens if the OnlyFans, like, the... The bra and panties. Like, the... That, not the actual... Like, I don't know. A porn star is different to OnlyFans girl. No, I'm not talking about fucking on OnlyFans. I'm just talking about like. Because there's. Bro, you, you could get married to a girl that's a supermodel and she posts her filth in a fucking panty. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, and a lot of like models post themselves and yeah. like, yeah. Because, wow. bro, how the fuck can you be mad if you're dating Summer Rae? Yeah. <sighs> Which is why. But I think if it's only for like. I mean, if it's at that point, then no, obviously not. But I think it's if it's like now, just like, OnlyFans yeah. do that. Yeah, nah, you can't. Nah, I can't do that. Cause I think mentally it would just it would fuck me over. Like I would it would break me down, honestly. Break you down in the wrong, long run. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> down some back shots. Yo, you like, bro? You actually have a problem. I'm just trying to get my, my I'm trying to get my content ready. You remember the content I tried to tell you about? I'm trying to start. No. My my TikTok. Oh yeah, fruity motherfucker. Yeah. You should your TikTok name should be your nickname should be Big Fruit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what it should be? Juicy Huna. Okay, fuck no. What about Juicy J? Juicy J sounds better than Juicy Huna. Okay, Juicy J though. No, okay, but you I can't I, fucking but take but someone I, else's name. But I definitely want to get like I, would, I definitely want to get like Huna. Somewhere oh, late no. in life, I feel like Huna, like bro, only the like we I spoke to this with Shaman, like only fucking close ass people know Huna, bro. Like, no, yeah, for sure. I be like when I be talking to like Jamar, like people randomly, be like Huna. I, I say Huna and I correct myself and I say Juan because I'm just yeah. so used. To, you know what's funny? It's all sorry for my brother. I know. I gotta pay your brother. Yeah, he definitely. I'm gonna tell that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna copyright that bitch for him. <laughs> that's it. That's all I have for this one. I'm, I'm on go. I'm ready for the next. One. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have the last topic. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go scavenge. I'll see you guys later. Peace.